What's going on everyone? Welcome to another Keyshot quick tip. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at how you can get set up using your Keyshot 11 subscription license. Among the many changes that Keyshot has undergone during our release of Keyshot 11, we've also moved toward a subscription licensing platform. This new addition makes it easier than ever to manage your Keyshot products, as well as move between multiple computers while still having access to your purchase subscription. To get started, you'll need to visit www.keyshot.com, select the Buy option at the top right corner of the page, and select Keyshot from the drop-down menu. This takes you to the Buy Keyshot page, where you'll be able to add a Keyshot Pro subscription to your cart, as well as any subscription modules you'd like to include in your purchase. Note that the bold numbers stating the product's purchase price are a monthly breakdown of the subscription cost, which is billed annually. Once you've added your subscription to the cart, open your cart at the top right of the page, then you'll be able to read and agree to our terms and conditions before proceeding to checkout. When you click the checkout button, you'll be redirected to your Keyshot Cloud account login. If you already have a Keyshot Portal account or a Keyshot Cloud account, you can go ahead and log in here. If you do not, you'll need to create a new account through the sign up link at the bottom of the window. Whatever login you choose to use, it's recommended that each user input the same login information across all subscription purchases in order to ensure a complete purchase history and minimize frustration when accessing your subscription information. Once you've completed the checkout process and your payment has been submitted, you'll receive an email from us that lists your purchased products with your subscription code just below. You'll also receive links to your order and invoice information, as well as our installation guide and learning materials. With your subscription code in hand, you'll now need to download the Keyshot 11 installer by visiting keyshot.com slash resources slash downloads, or by visiting our homepage and accessing downloads through the resource tab at the top right of the webpage. Upon install, you'll be prompted to fill out the necessary fields within the installation manager before you can start rendering. Start by selecting the I have a subscription option at the top of the listed license types, then hit next. You'll then need to sign into your cloud account. Be sure that you use the same login information here as you did when purchasing your Keyshot subscription earlier. Then input the emailed subscription code and hit next to activate your new Keyshot 11 subscription. At this point, you should be ready to jump into Keyshot and start creating some incredible renderings and animations for your future projects. But before we go, I did want to discuss managing your subscriptions. Your subscription license is only intended for one user and your license can only be active on one device at a time. However, you can install and sign into Keyshot on up to three different devices, and if you need to add or remove a device for any reason, you can now easily manage your own subscriptions through the help menu inside Keyshot. To activate, deactivate, and disable devices, go to the Help menu and select the Manage Account option for your appropriate platform. This will open a browser window where you'll be prompted for your Keyshot Cloud login information before proceeding. Again, make sure this information matches the login info you used when purchasing your subscription. Once logged in, you'll now be in your account on portal.keyshot.com where you can now manage all products and devices your account is currently tied to. Hopefully this quick tip makes activating and managing your Keyshot products as simple as possible. And as always, if you're interested in more useful Keyshot content, hit that subscribe button and get notified as soon as new videos hit the channel. Don't forget to let us know your thoughts on this quick tip in the comment section below. And if you found this video useful, give it a like and share.